She loves me. She loves me lots. She loves me. She loves me lots. Well, she loves me. I've finished the new car competition. I'm going to win a Ford Tipex any minute. It's quite easy, really. All you've got to do is match up six pictures of famous noses with six pictures of famous bogeys. <laughs> Thought that'd shock you. Well, it's not true because then, then you've got to say in ten words what cornflakes mean to you. So I put cornflakes, 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 cornflakes. Pathetic. You never win, Vivian. Why not? There's only nine words. Cornflakes. Anyway, you'll still never win because nothing interesting ever happens to us. Stop being so boring, Rick. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's very nice! Coming from someone as boring as you. Look, can you two guys stop hustling each other? I'm getting really bored with it, all right? Oh, dear me! <laughs> Poor old Neil's getting bored! The most boring person in the whole world is finally getting a taste of his own medicine. Listen, I think we're overdoing the boredom motif in this conversation. It's time for us to extend our vocabulary. All right, all I said, yeah. Mike, was We heard what you said and it was very boring. boring. Biff, I thought we yes, decided... Yes, you to... decided, Michael! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Guys! Look at us. Squabbling. <laughs> bickering. Like children. What's happening to us? We never used to be like this. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Yeah, he's right, Rick. We've always been like this. Well, yes, I, I know, but... But that's just exactly my point. Nothing ever changes. Nothing ever happens to us. Monopoly? <sighs> yes. Ha, ha, Mike! Landed on the old Kent Road. That's mine. Rent, come on, pay up now. Well, all Instantly. right, all right. I think the Mike Exchequer can handle a debt of four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be amazing if all this money was real? <laughs> It's the single most predictable and boring thing that anybody could ever say whilst playing Monopoly. Well, what about Vivian? I could say Vivian, couldn't I? Uh, That'd be pretty boring. You have one second prize in a beauty contest. <laughs> Smash Rick over the head with the bank. <laughs> I did not say that, Michael. Vivian is cheating, Mike. No, he's right, Rick. That's exactly what it says. In Biro, Mike. In Biro, over the top of the pins. <laughs> We have to change the rules because Monopoly's so boring! Congratulations! It is your birthday. You may set fire to Rick's bed. Good one! <laughs> Get out of jail free. You may keep this card, sell it, or stick it up Rick's bottom. <laughs> 
give you and you've ruined the game! I was bored! Yeah, well, that's nothing. Neil got so bored, he's gone down to the garden to kill himself. And it's his go. <laughs> You're a spade. I always call him that. <laughs> From Monopoly to the grave, the most interesting thing that ever happens to me is sneezing. I wish I was Magnus Magnuson. Hey, Neil. Sitting round a Monopoly board may be a great way of spending Christmas, but I don't want to wait that long. No, no, Mike, it's all right. Uh, I'm just digging a grave. Uh, I don't think I'm going to kill myself today, actually, but... Uh, just in case, you know. <laughs> you know, living in a world where nothing boring ever happens can be a real piss-up. <laughs> ah, the man in the time machine has just returned with the actual video of the birth of Christ. Would you care to... Not now, minion. Also next door, the Rolling Stones are making a new album, while two hippopotamus make love underneath the piano. The king is bored shitless with interesting <laughs> things, minion. And so am I. What I want is to meet someone who is totally and utterly mind-numbingly boring. But I suppose I never will. I suppose it's because I'm so mind-numbingly boring that I never get to meet any interesting people. <laughs> oh, so you decided to come in now, have you, Neil? Well, we've finished playing Monopoly now, and you've lost. Oh, I'm amazed I lasted as long as I did. Eh? There's someone at the door, Rick. Someone at the door, Vivian. Someone at the door, Neil. There's someone at the door, Mike. I know. There's someone at the door, Rick. There's someone at the door, Vivian. <laughs> There's someone at the door, Mike. There's someone at the door, Neil. <laughs> Well, don't look at me. I'm in Paris. <laughs> you haven't left the house all day. Vivian, you ever heard of cloning? No! Oh, that's good. Would you swear to that? Certainly, if that's what you want. Big jobs! <laughs> Ow! Hey, hey, guys. Great idea. Listen. Listen, why don't we, right, decide who's going to answer the door, right? And then, and then that person could, like, go and answer it, right? And then, and then find out who it is and who they want to see, right? And then, like, come back in here and tell whoever it is <laughs> that there's somebody who wants to see them, yeah? Neil, do what? me a favour. What? Die. So I suppose I'll just have to go and answer it myself, as usual. Somebody call a taxi. <laughs> Billy Bolovsky. Yeah, so who needs pleasure? Hello, Billy. How are the trees? Who called a taxi? What do you want, Billy? Uh, you got a message from Mr. Bolovsky? I'm Mr. Bolovsky. Oh, no, no, your brother, Jertsy. You got a message from him? Got a piece of paper. Whoever called the taxi, uh, they can have the message. <laughs> all right, all right. I called the taxi. Okie dokie, Skip. Where do you want to go? I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> well, what the bloody hell do you call a taxi for then? I had to come all the way from Brazil for this, you know. <laughs> and stop it out of me wages. You know how much a taxi driver is? I can't even afford to buy new shoelaces. Well, it's a good job you're not a taxi driver then, isn't it? It's a good job I'm wearing Wellingtons. Look, just give us a note. <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's in the cupboard. Oh, no, not the goldfish. Heh <laughs> 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 Don't worry, goldfish everywhere. I 
am in fact a stunt gelfish. In fact, by the time this program comes out, I shall be doing the new James Bond film. So, there's no need to write in. Sure, they never read the letters anyway. Oh, hello, pussycat. Here's your Uncle Billy. Here, what you doing in a bucket? <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's play Daleks. <laughs> exterminate, 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 exterminate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, what am I now? What am I now? Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 come on, what am I now? A pain in the arse. <laughs> no, I'm a hairbrush, dogs. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Here we go. What am I now? What am I now? Come on. Clinically insane. No, little house on the prairie. <laughs> Billy. Sir Billy. Ah, uh, Sir Billy. Look, why don't you just go away? Cos I've got a message for you. Then get it to us. Oh, doesn't he get excited? Ah! Right, here we are. This is the message. I shall read it to you. Are we ready, clocks? Right, here we... Hang on. There's no words on this. Oh, I think they must have fallen off somewhere, so... Oh, no, it's all right. They're on the other side. That's OK, right. Liam. <laughs> Finders keepers, losers weepers. Rick. <laughs> I've not always been mad, you know, but, um... <laughs> I was actually driven mad by the indifference of architects and council planners. You see, I live in a tower block, and um, the thing about those is there's a terrible noise problem because there's no noise or insulation at all. You know, and eight floors below you, there's always some bastard who's got a Yamaha home organ, you know? <laughs> You're just about to go to sleep near this. <laughs> and like, the people who live upstairs from me, I, I can't understand what they're doing, you know, I listen. And all I can hear is this weird noise, and it goes vroom, vroom, blam, blam, vroom, vroom, blam, blam. It sounds right. It sounds like two elephants on a motorbike riding round and round, while a seal bangs a kipper on the table. <laughs> I went upstairs to complain, and the door was answered by this elephant in a crash helmet. <laughs> Standing behind him is this seal going, What is it now, now? <laughs> I don't know, it's just something cracked inside, you know, and I, I started thinking I was a piece of sponge, you know, and I just started getting very depressed, and I just got all the way down, you know, all the way, and I just got... What does the note say, Mike? Dear boys, don't let Billy near the goldfish bowl. <laughs> Your friend and landlord, Jersey Bolofsky. There's no one there. <laughs> God, I'm boring. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you my own! Would Mr. Saunders like some cake? Oh, yes, please. There we are, then. Oh. That looks nice, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Anything I'm, wrong? Well, I can't reach it. <laughs> it can't reach it. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, it spilt some. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Who's a naughty boy, then? <laughs> we'll have to get that cleaned up, won't we? Uh, Here, all go. Yes, Footman. Footum. Footum. Pass me that can of lager, would you? <laughs> Soon have it looking like a new bin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brillo bad. Oh, no. No, please. Oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Let's give it some Barry Manilow. Oh, no. oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it really gets off on Barry. <laughs> oh, go. Any news of your promotion? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've only got another ten souls to collect, and I'm eligible for a nice cushy job in admin. Why, oh. it's it's taken me five millennia to get this far. Because no one ever summons you up to earth with a name like Orgo. I mean, people don't say Orgo by accident. Do they? Oh, is it not loud enough? <laughs> well, at least you're in with a chance. I mean, someone might say, shall we go to the theatre or go to the cinema? Oh. Or they might say, shall we go shopping or go. <laughs> but no one ever says my name. No one ever says Footum. Why couldn't I be called William? I don't know. Here, look at this. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! 
No room for me on the sofa as usual. I have to sit on the rickety chair. Oh, uh, goody goody gumdrops. Just in time to watch Oh Crikey on ITV. Oh, Rick, we were watching Bastard Squad. Oh, were you? Oh, well, get up out of the sofa and go and turn it over if you want. I don't mind. Oh, um, no, I've hurt my back. Oh, what a shame. can sit on the rickety chair. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, I think I'll just sit here on the floor, if that's all right with you lot, then. <laughs> all right, Mike, not in your way or anything, am I? This is my favourite programme. It would just be typical if it was interrupted by a newsflash about a siege or something like that. We interrupt tonight's scheduled programme, <laughs> The Bastard Squad, to bring you up to the minute coverage of a siege which is now underway in North London. We join BBC's reporter, Dan Prick, on the spot. Yes. A man believed to be a lunatic foreign terrorist, one of those greaseball raving reds who seem to crop up everywhere since we stopped running the world, is now taking refuge in an insanitary slum dwelling in North London, the sort of place where you normally get squatters anyway. A police and army siege is now underway. Oh, Christ. Boring. Look, now we get a shot of a street for the next four hours. <laughs> Nothing ever happens in these things. Well, if it does happen, we don't get to see it. Yes, it looks as though something's happening now. The police and the army are moving in. <laughs> right on. Rule Britannia. <laughs> Tiny figure in the middle distance jumps over a gate. <laughs> Rule Britannia. <laughs> They're dubbing that sound on. That's never real. <laughs> Doesn't that look like your car, Bill? Nah. Why's he in a Ford Anglia with flames up the side? Well, that's a yellow Ford angle with flames up the side. Yeah, but it's not mine, is it? Cool. That was a loud one. <laughs> Look, is anybody watching this? Well, that looks like it. We're sorry not to bring you the bastard squad, but at least we got the mad coon with the gun, eh? <laughs> <sighs> hey, guys, why don't we eat? That'd be quite interesting, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yes, 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 eat, eat. I wonder how many lentils I've ever eaten in my life. Oh, <laughs> no, it must be more than that, Viv. Lentils are really good, you know? No matter how many times you have them, they never get boring. Neil, that's our tea! You've just blown up our tea! Well, well, I didn't do it on purpose, Rick. And we paid for that. Fifteen pence. Come on, pay up now. Fifteen pence. <laughs> but, but I haven't collected this week's money yet. <laughs> that's hardly the point, is it? But it was an accident, Rick. I mean, I just looked at it and it blew up, Rick. <laughs> Well, there's still some on the wall. Maybe we could save some. <laughs> get some portions together for supper, then. Let's do something. We're bored stupid. Ha-ha! Rick didn't have far to go, did he? I just knew you were going to say that. That's a complete lie, you puff. I knew you were going to say that, too. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know I was going to do that, did you? <laughs> All right, maybe you know I didn't know that. No. <laughs> We're bored stupid and now we've got nothing to eat. I think the time has come for us to go down to the pub. Darling Carrot, could you ever laugh at Cripple? No, I don't think so. <laughs> So they say so if you'll say 
Kebab, I've already eaten. Oh shit. I'm so insane, but we don't stop. Party gimmicks in this shop. Try to have some fun. It's quicker if you run. This is a chemist, not a junk shop. Party heads, simple enough, clear. Comprehend me, send me, understand. Do you hear? A pack of party heads. Too late, Gorgon's her gossip Well, hello, Joe, hello, Miss Clay And he had returns from the day Welcome to the house of fun Now I've come of age Welcome to the house of fun Welcome to the lion's den Temptation's on his way Welcome to the house of fun Welcome to the house of fun Now I've come of age Welcome to the house of fun Do uh, do any of you lot know Summer Holiday by Cliff Richard? Yeah. You am it. I'll smash your face in. <laughs> I'll go sit over there. It's an embarrassment. <laughs> well, just as I expected, totally boring. Yes, the service is terrible too. <laughs> Waiter! Waiter! You, woman! <laughs> Look, it's all right, lads. I stole some money from Rick's bedroom this morning, so I'll get these. Ah, <laughs> uh, what would you like, Rick? Coffee, please, Vivian. This is a this is a pub. They don't do coffee. Oh, well, in that case, I don't particularly want anything, thank you. I don't think it's very clever or smart to drink, actually. I want to stay controlled. Mike! Water, Vivian, in a straight glass. Uh-huh. Uh, Neil? Uh, oh, just a bag of crisps, please, Viv, but, uh, not meat-flavoured, cos I don't abuse my body in the world I live in. <laughs> OK, I want a pint of water in a straight glass, uh, a bag of roast ox crisps, <laughs> and, uh, mine's a baby sham. <laughs> Hello, Vivian. Oh, hello, Mum. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. I didn't know you lived in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's Dad? Oh, honestly, Vivian, I do wish you wouldn't ask me that. You know I've absolutely no idea who he is. Well, Vivian, you never told us your mother was a bartender. <laughs> well, she was a shoplifter when I knew her. <laughs> She doesn't look strong enough hey. to lift shots. That'll be £28.50, Vivian. I've only got a fiver. I'll have the ring and the watch. <laughs> well, aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a friend of mine called Mike. Uh, this is a friend of mine called Neil. Hello. And. That's a complete bastard I know called Rick. <laughs> <laughs> He's just joshing Mrs Vivian. We're actually terrific friends. <laughs> Ooh, uh, he is a bastard, isn't he? <laughs> Tell me, Mrs Vivian, why did you give him a girl's name? <laughs> 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 
Now, dear, why don't you come over here and tell me what you've been doing for the last ten years? OK, Ma. Not you. Yeah. Zip face. Him. Thank you. Him. I knew I should have stayed at home. Pubs are bourgeois. Right, Mike. All right. Let's go. Of course, you see, I look at life like this. <laughs> Why is that? Problems? Yeah. Had a heavy bust up this morning with my lady. It's WPC. Don't know. I never could remember her name. Um. It's got a four in it. It's got a four, because I remember it surround one like that. Has it got a tail? Yeah. It's a Q. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty sure. Been going out in years. How long? In years. <laughs> I reckon if I played me cards right, I could have... Uh... Mm. <laughs> Either in the groin? No, the other one. Slept with her? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I reckon I could have slept with her, if it wasn't for something I said. Well, we had a row and, uh, I said something about the Pope. <laughs> it's a bit stupid, you know she's Catholic. Yeah, I know she's Catholic. I didn't know the Pope was. <laughs> so laugh, though, isn't it? <laughs> that noise you make in the back of your throat when you hear a joke. Yeah, that's a laugh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? There are now more tin cans than there are people. Neil, mm. do you want to see my new trick? Mm. Uh, Mike, Mike, do you want to see my new trick? No, oh, I'm busy with the paper. Rick! No, I don't, Vivian. I've got something more important to think about, actually. Yeah. Look! Watch my trick, you bastards, or I'll kill you! Yeah. Brilliant, eh? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Wrong finger. <laughs> hey, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian, I think you cut off one of your fingers. Hey, listen to this. Under the new ruling, all a student needs to qualify for an increased grant is a, a numkul pukajul for too much. From the local authority. <laughs> what was that, Rick? A numkul pukajul fatumch. <laughs> Don't you read the Guardian, Neil? What's a fatumch? <laughs> <laughs> now I've got three minutes. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem to make any sense. It... Neil, <clears throat> have you just farted? <laughs> No, I don't think so, Rick, no. Well, there's a horrible farty smell in here, and it's definitely not from my bottom. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, I'm going to the drawing room. This is worse than cattle's business. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Knackers. Was it you that farted, Mike? <laughs> Who can tell, Neil? I'm a strange guy. <laughs> I'll deal with that spotty Herbert later. Oh, look, a little girl. <laughs> Meditate on this. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, I just had a great idea. <laughs> Why don't we go and see a film? Yes, yes, let's go and see a film. Uh, where's the local paper, Mike? It's in the local paper shop, Neil. Where do you think? <laughs> right. Hey, Rick. Yes? I'm just going down the local paper shop, OK? <laughs> That's funny, I don't remember ramming a skewer into my head. I don't believe it. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, Mr. Sambo Darky Coon, I've got your number. You're nicked. <laughs> Is there anything the matter, officer? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, dear me. Don't we talk lovely, Mr. Rastus Chocolate Drop? Now, listen here, son. I've done a weekend's training with the SAS. I could pull both your arms off and leave no trace of violence. Lord Scarman need never know. Well, what seems to be the trouble, officer? That's white man's electricity or burning, ringing that bell. That's there. I've got your number, so hold out your head. Officer, I represent Kellogg's Cornflakes car competition. I... Oh. Sorry, John. I thought you was a nigger. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Carry on. Hey, guess what, kid? You've won a new Ford Tipex. Come in, for Tumch. Your time is up. I think you got the wrong house. What a piece of luck. <laughs> God. What a boring day. I went to the local paper shop, but they didn't have a local paper. Well, they obviously don't come from this area, Neil. <laughs> hey, guys. Tomorrow, why don't we, as just a suggestion, why don't we try going into college. Now, Neil, now listen. Things may be bad, but there's no need to panic. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just going to treat this problem like my mattress and sleep on it. <laughs> Good night. Who's been gobbing in my lentils? Yes! Who's been gobbing in our lentils? Sod it. Let's go to McDonald's. Yes!